Jesse, thanks for taking some time for us here. Can you tell us about the community-based research center and the Two-Spirit program? Yeah, for sure. So the Community-Based Research Center is a nonprofit organization that started here in BC in 1999 and since we've grown uh, nationally um, and is an organization that focuses on developing queer, two-spirit, gay, bi, trans uh, resources for men who have sex with men or identify in that realm. Uh, my position is uh, actually brand new. It's the Indigenous Two-Spirit Program Manager. So my primary goal in this position is to connect and create and provide supports to the Two-Spirit community as well as the Indigenous community as a whole to try and decrease barriers to access to services. So a major part of my job will be the development of uh, at-home testing um, program. So for HIV, syphilis, chlamydia, gonorrhea um, and a number of other STIs that we can um, treat. So we're going to create a program um, so that we can either ship the items or the testing kits to, at home to remote communities or um, either get access in some way. I can only imagine there's uh, you know, additional discrimination against two-spirited people and the LGBTQ community. Uh, would that be your understanding here too? Absolutely. We um, definitely experience and have reports of a number um, of Indigenous Two-Spirit folks as well as queer folks, period, uh, and the discrimination um, that occurs within healthcare settings. You work as a nurse in the healthcare system. Have you seen any of this firsthand? Uh, unfortunately, yes, I have. So um, I, I am a registered nurse and I've been a nurse for about six years. My background is postpartum NICU, so with preterm infants, and then I've been working in sexual health for the last three years. Um, unfortunately, when I did work postpartum nursery uh, and in the NICU, I did experience a fair bit of discrimination, even um, similar things that we're going to be talking about today, but betting games about how many pregnancies young Indigenous moms have had um, and comments around pregnancy rates among Indigenous women. Can you tell us a bit on why you uh, feel this is an important role for the investigation? Well, as we know, I mean, um, the stats on Indigenous health period are extremely uh, decreased when we're comparing to non-Indigenous folks. So having any barrier period identified um, can benefit and hopefully increase health outcomes. So by bringing more attention to the survey, getting people to report their experiences of discrimination, hopefully the outcome can be some healing for the people themselves who are reporting uh, these stories, but as well as to decrease or challenge the current uh, racism that's happening and hopefully in the end increase health outcomes or improve health outcomes. And so Jesse, for people wanting to get in touch with you to take part in the investigation, uh, how do they do that? Yeah, so we can send them to the, uh, I can share the CBRC blog post or go to cbrc.net uh, and it's the first thing on the top where you can click read the blog that we discussed and uh, links to the survey. The survey was open until July 30th, but they actually just extended it now to August 6th. Uh, so this is for Indigenous and non-Indigenous people who've experienced uh, discrimination or witnessed discrimination. Um, there, it, it can be any experiences uh, within hospital settings or healthcare facilities, period. So everybody can take part and report these incidences. And thanks for that. Uh, Jesse, we'll leave it there. Appreciate you taking some time for us. Of course. Thank you. That is Jesse Dame, the Two-Spirit Program Manager at the Vancouver Community-Based Research Centre.